And here today we're at with Paul Cooper at St. Louis ARG. What did you just do? Uh, I just made uh, just X1, uh, just made top what, 16. What's the, what's yeah, and with what that? I'm playing Cleef Uh I played against like, five neck rolls, one Shadal, uh, and then one other rogue deck. I think um, maybe Tellers, I can't remember. Uh, and I lost against... Um, oh, BA. I lost against BA in time. Um, if, it, if, if we didn't go in time, I would have won that. And so I would have been undefeated, but yeah. So, well, very nice. Let's get right down. Yeah, so this build, uh, like I built it like right before the tournament because uh, like it was all theory, but uh, I guess it worked out. Uh, so we're gonna start with the monsters. Uh, you know, two scouts. Oh, yeah. We just have one mana left. Uh, you didn't want to play two? Uh, I only play one for this event, but uh, I'll definitely um, bump it up to two. Um, but uh, we'll talk about the changes later. Uh, then we have three carrier. I, I, I usually just do two and two of uh, the two carry two helix, but this build, um, these are all the monsters that I play. Wow. Uh, I don't play show. I don't play self apply. If I would have played self apply, I would have won my uh, against the BA guy because we was in time. I would burn them. I would gain. I would have won. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm adding um, self apply and a mana left um, into the build. But that's all the monsters. Okay. Yeah, it's like not that many monsters. Uh, and then we have for the spells. We have uh, for, for consistency. Um, we're just trying to get to the scout or floodgate. Um, that's all you want to you want to get to, and then these get you to your scout. We got the one sacrifice, and then, and then because like for ARGs, because like uh, I don't know, like like mostly uh, people that, tra that travel to ARGs usually play like the best deck, so which is Necroft. So uh, I made sure I was uh, properly main for Necroft. So uh, I'm main three shot right. Uh, that card is, and it, it's worked because uh, against like the mirror match, it's a one for one. Or I guess if they if they do that, uh, then they have to stop or they have to scout and get you one. Or you know, Teller is a one for one, but like you should only be worried about the, the uh, Necroft. So, for the traps, we have a uh, three maxi, um, so that you know. I didn't know that was a trap. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, Dexter's special one, yeah. And we have three loser turns. Um, a lot of people, uh, or some people cut it too, but no, like you want this. It's, this is a skill drain, so why would you not play it? And we have three mind crush. Uh, three mind crush is just, uh, like, cause you have to stop the unicorn play. Like, you cannot let them go a Jew and then go unicorn, because when they do, the game, like, they get too much advantage from all that. So you have to uh, always just mind crush the unicorn, or Trish if they have it, but I mean, that's like turns later, but mind crush for that. And then we have three mirror force, um, cause I'm not trying to like lose my battle, like, cause uh, the blue deck can just OTK you, so um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get OTK. And uh, yeah, that's, that's purely the only reason. And, it, and plus the mirror match is really good. Uh, and then we have uh, one skill drain, one Rickley eight, and one climate change. Uh, I cut emptiness. Uh, emptiness is trash. Uh, emptiness actually just sucks uh, for multiple reasons. Like uh, if you have it, um, like let's say if you have emptiness, and then like you have like I don't know skill drain. Uh, it, it just like it conflicts way too much with with what you're trying to do, um, and it doesn't like actually gain you anything. Cause then like the are gonna summon like all the Jews, get all the Valks, stall until you get MST, then they get MST or other back row, and then it's just like I mean it's pointless. So yeah, so I cut emptiness and I won't ever go back to emptiness. The card is not good. Forty card main. Then for side deck, uh, I only decided for uh, for Klee and for Necros. Uh, I didn't like. Uh, in my opinion, like uh, Klee and Necro are only two decks in the format, like, so all the other decks are irrelevant. Um, and so I saw it inside for it. So I only saw it for Klee and Necro. Uh, for Necro, we have a lot of heat, all the heat. Um, for Necro, do you play uh, no, Spell no, Shatter? Uh, no, Klee, Klee versus Klee, my bad. Whoa! Yeah, all the heat. Uh, Super hot fire. And then we have uh, the second climate change, a bottomless, and a warning. So. How does those climate changes work today? Uh, no, it worked. It worked amazing because like a lot of people just don't um, like a lot of people just don't think that I would have it. And so like. I, I can, it allows me to play like recklessly, like I can pop my own scout, I can just do a bunch of more stuff with it and then just like get it all back. Or um, game two, they like side in a bunch of like hate, and so I side in the second one usually so that like, I mean, so all your hate becomes irrelevant because uh, if I play two, I'm gonna draw it uh, like a good amount of uh, good amount of, of the time. So like all your MSTs, Spell Shatterings, Fairy Winds, Ghost Order, Ice and Fire Hands, I mean, they're all pretty much dead because like I'm just gonna get all right back. So um, so this is all for Klee, um, I don't talk for anything else. And then we decide uh, the three Lancia for uh, Necroz. And uh, yeah, that's that. That's very good, Paul Cooper. Are you feeling confident now? Yeah, yeah I'm feeling, feeling good. Feeling oh, good. man, well, we're going to see you in ads. Is there anything else you need to say? Uh, no, uh, th this, here's the extra just real quick. Oh. Uh, but I don't play Cat, so um, I never actually I never go into it. I mean, I went into it once, um, just, just once today, and I made a Cat Steel, and it won me that game because of I had it. But that's uh, the extra deck is just. Um, just a bunch of random cards, like I have like Utopia and stuff. I have like a bunch of fun cards, like I don't know. But yeah, that's it. That's very right, good. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. I'm, I'm Take it easy, tomorrow. man. See ya. Peace.